Hey, Karth, can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this gonna be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, considering all we've been through. But I shouldn't take it out on you. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. Look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Carl. Well, that's not a deal. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Carl. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Return, Upworlder. The great city of Taurus covers the entire surface of this planet. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans, and famine swept the planet. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the Upper City. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony. For many years, I searched for the Promised Land. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope the knowledge that you are helping the entire village escape a life of darkness and suffering is reward enough. I see. Well, perhaps you are not the savior I seek after all. I can only pray that if you find the journals, you will have a change of heart and bring them to me. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. Oh, don't worry, I'll make this quick. I've got an offer that might be worth your while. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, 
I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. I don't want you to kill Rukul. He's not the problem. It's those damn explorers that went before him. What if they actually found something? They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers, and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 Down you go! That energy shield leads to another section of the sewers. The entrance to the Vulcar base is somewhere past there. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorian slavers. Don't worry, we can come back after we find Big Z. Look at this. This is one of those old-style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device which should do the trick. <laughs> Mission and Zalbar, together forever. <laughs> These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out.
I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. You did a good job mopping up those Gamorians, but I don't think you want to take on a Rancor. Those things are huge. Luckily, Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there. legend about the promised land were true. Quick, give me those journals so I can destroy them! Right, your reward. Here's 100 credits. That's a pretty hefty payment for some old notes and maps, eh? I don't want Rukul to get his hands on them journals. I'll give you 200 credits. That's all I have. Excellent. Now Rukul will never lead these people to the Promised Land. Now, is there something else you need? You want to look at my inventory? False prophet! Deceiver! You have betrayed me! You have sold the hope of the entire village to the selfish and damnable Igiar! All I have worked for is destroyed. All the hopes and dreams of my father and grandfather before him turned to dust. Begone, upworlder! I have only curses to speak at you! I saw what you did. You gave those journals to Igiar! I will never find the promised land. How could you do that, you monster? Just get away from me. I don't want to speak to you again. 